Let's good get to it. All right, all right, all right. Final game, day one. Kyle Montgomery, a.k.a. The Voice. Boz Rosendahl, a.k.a. The Mountain, on the mic. Serbian fronts in your face. Fierare in the beast face, and he finishes with a lay. Good start for Villare. Went to the basket, faked like he was going to pass it to Rambo, and then laid it up. Yeah, nice decision. So Francis kind of reset, had a chance to kind of self-evaluate, figure out what they did wrong. This Obviously, this is a different type of team in Serbia that they're playing compared to Brazil. It will be physical, but I think it's going to be a different type of physicality. Maestro navigating, getting to his spot, but missing it. He does keep it alive. What a hustle by the maestro. And what a pass to the to uh, the manimal. But Mahilo missed it. Yeah, great pass by Brankovic. But the manimal was harassed by Rambo and couldn't finish that shot that low. And then he has to use a foul here to uh, stop Fauché from getting an easy layup. Serbians are just masterminds at game management, man. It keeps... I keep, I keep telling you, they know when to use their fouls. They know how to stop momentum, and that's something you don't learn. That's something you just get from playing and playing and playing over time. Not that's just in these games, but also on the home courts back in Serbia. Yep. Animal going down to the post office. No way to stop him, but grab him. Foul is called. One zero, front stuck. Start the game. Doctor Strange in the lane. Not that time, but he will get another attempt. And Strahinia draws the foul. Stoich is MVP of the World Tour, 2022. Two MVPs already this year. Uh, considered the best player in the game. The numbers back it up. Frank Segala, now you see it, now you don't. Voila! Magical on that reverse as the, as the Beast will answer back to you. The Serbian fan section is letting their voice be heard. So a lot of Serbians made the trip here to Austria. It's not all that far, too, I think. It might just be a, like a five, six hour drive. Oh, I'm not that, sure. Oh, that's nothing. That's an early morning drive to come here to support the team that, that they love. Oh, Vietare. He had the moves like Chris Brown. Let's hope for him he uh, doesn't have the voice like Chris Brown. Or maybe. <laughs> I mean, I know you tried today. He had him under the influence. No, you don't know that one. That, check out that Chris Brown song when you get a chance, boss. I haven't listened to Chris Brown that much. Love it, uh, it. Don't get me started. Uh, Two-point lead for the French. Strahinia. Oh, had the hang time, but the lay rolls out on him. Fauché sets the screen. Oh, offensive foul called. Fauché was moving a little bit too soon. Possession will go back over to the Serbians. Look at that pass right there. Uh, uh, uh. Three, two. Rambo attacking the Manimal. And Vasquez gets called for the foul there. That will get Serbia up to now three fouls. At who, the pace as it is right now, who do you think it favors more? I think this pace favors France, to be honest with you, because Serbia is used to playing at their own pace. Slow, methodical, getting open shots when they want to, and then they can they can get some bursts of speed going there from Dr. Strange. Yeah, Villarade with the double shot. Strahinia can't answer back. Look at the maestro at 34 years old, still hustling the ball down, but they aren't able to convert it into points. But they got, they set up a play call here, and Keep a close eye on this action, how it comes around. Here's Maestro, takes the handoff, goes to the corner. 
was not much variance in that in that play. <laughs> Maybe that was this maestro saying, give me the ball and get out of the way. Oh, Segura, he blew a tire. Now he's about to wrangle with that man. Get out of here. Don't bother me. He spins free and scores. Fauche on the cut will answer back. France is looking sharp in this game. Look at them being up on Serbia. And then an offensive foul, too, on they, the Manimal. They look totally different. France looks totally different. But look at this move from Vasque. Fauche trying to pull the chair on him. But he didn't know that Vasque had that balance like that. Look at that pretty spin move, kept his balance, finished the shot. And then right back. This was immediately when Franz cleared the ball after that Vasque make. So they were unfazed. Timeout on the floor. There's, there's, the, there's the Serbian flag flying. Their brates are going to work. What <laughs> word do you think they use to scream and help their team? Hi there, hi there, hi there. Man, how many languages is that that I've spoken today? I think we're up, in, up to eight. <laughs> if, if we count your tried Portuguese. Hey, a little, a little bit of Spanish, a little bit of Hungarian, a little bit of Serbian. Yeah. Uh, French. A little bit of French. Dutch. Did I say anything? You got, yeah, you got one word out okay, of Dutch. Okay, you got some German because <laughs> you said schnitzel. Yes. And I said Dankevel. I mean, and you tried Portuguese, though. Well, I'm not sure if it counts, but you tried it. <laughs> I'm not sure if Boz is patronizing me or if he's really showing me love. Always, man. Deuce is a chunk, but that time being that day misses the mark. 6-3 France. Brankovic backing down Segela. Segela doesn't like the call. And that will be a fifth on France. Fouls are even. The score is not. It's not often you see a Serbian team with this kind of experience only score three points in three and a half minutes of play. Yeah. France's defense is really doing work right now. Oh, look at that. Four shot right there. Brankovic, uh-oh. He's going to get a warning. But Brankovic, I think, frustrated. He wanted a foul there, but I'm not sure. I thought that was solid defense. Rambo going right at Vasque. He's able to draw the foul. Serbia is at the, at the limit as well. Close, yeah. Close to the bonus. Six fouls. They've used up all of their resources. Can't find any offense early on here. I think if there's one thing about Serbia, I think they got to maintain their composure because they're in an a position that they're, it's not familiar for them. The calls aren't exactly going their way. France is playing some really strong defense. But this is not the time to start debating with the officials and, and this type of thing because I think it, it works to your detriment. Mm -hmm. You can't get distracted. Yeah, they just got to get back to doing what they do. And Segala doing what he does which is sometimes miss. Look at Fauche. He is putting the pressure on Brokovic. So doing his best to tame the beast. My sort of is this ball is going up. I knew it. Nicks the rim. Offensive board to the Serbians. Vasque on Villarare. No way. Suffocating Prince defense. No, yeah, no, no. stood him up a little bit there physically, too. Did you see him on that spin? He got yeah. in the way and just bumped him. Bob's Out physical to Manimal? Yeah, yeah, I think they've been studying film because that's one of Vasque's go-to moves. He acts like he's leaving the paint, and then he makes that quick move back to the inside. And they had snuffed it out. Segala is going to get called for that foul. And, and I think he's going to get a warning as well. Uh, maybe not yet, but. 
This game is intense. Here's Strahinia, the world number one. Goes left to right. Then North for the score. Say Gala is a no. Strange, getting tricky with it. Oh! Oh, and a technical is called. It's look, I've, I've seen Strahini get these texts several times before. Is you can't try to sell that foul on the two. Anything that's overt as an offensive player, and the defender didn't exactly cause that type of, of physical reaction, and you don't need that tech right now. The game is th that's, it, that's this tight. Listen to that crowd, though. It's roaring right it's now. A lot of people. It is roaring right now. A lot of now. people rooting for Serbia out there. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it. Oh yes. Come on, Kyle. It's been a great first day. Think about it. Tight games. Nice highlights. Oh, are you trying to put one together right there? You trying to throw one up to Stromal Swift there? Man, I want to see. Yeah. What you remember? You remember Stromal yes, Swift? Yes, sir. Woo. Yeah, he was crazy with it. Yes, sir. <laughs> Maestro makes a quick move to the right. Maestro is out of there. On both sides of the venue, there's huge Serbian contingents. Oh, tough attempt from Segela. 6-6 six, six game. Rambo. Get it over to Segela. Quickly over to Vieira. Segela makes the move on Vizke. Oh, he broke some knee parts, some ankle bones, loosened some cartilage. 8 6. Damn. Hell of a jab step. The beast doesn't answer with the two piece. Francis firing right now, and Segela just really broke him off one there. Oh, Vieira. Oh, he faked him like. I don't know what to say there. <laughs> I, was, actually, I was about to say something, but it wasn't going to be no, made got, for TV. He got Brankovic <laughs> lost on that play. He disappeared on him like David Blaine. That's a nice one. But look at, look at the get out of A. Yeah, he pulled a disappearing act. Alakazam. Segala. He created some space in the relationship. They about to break up next. 9-6. <laughs> Nine seven. And Serbia are climbing back. It's one thing you learn about watching Serbia over the years is you never count this team out, and certainly not in a three-point game. Make that a one-point game. Four shade. Four two. Not that time. Stolen away. And now the French fans are getting loud. Segala drives and kicks. Viadare! Wow. 11-8. Where was this French team in their first game? They have another identity. Split personality. They lead it by two. Viadare splits the defense, lost it for a moment, and then scores it. Segala gets called for another foul. Segala's picked up, I think, four fouls himself. That's there in the bonus, too. That's not smart. They're letting the Serbian team back in with just free throws. Serbia can't find any offense right now. France is leaving the door open by putting them on the free throw line. They got to tighten up. If they, if they want to beat Serbia, you got to tighten up. So the beach. Two big free throws upcoming. 
He's an 83% free throw shooter. Consistent as consistent as they come from the line. Oh, you jinxed him right the there. That's the announcer's jinx yes, right there. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, wow. Oh, wait a minute. Foshe. Nope. Tipped out. Via that eight. He gets a chance to reset. He'll drop it off. Rambo! Wait a minute. That's a three-second call right three there. Rambo was in the paint he hanging was. out. He set up camp down there, yeah. but the referee out there paying attention. And yeah, that's official talk down there on the baseline. You see the numbback pass? I thought they might have had a, a bucket there, but it's wiped away. Majstorovic will get Serbia back within one. And Segala will score. You think this game was being played in Novi Sad or something? All these Serbian fans. Yeah, they uh, they came out here in droves. My story was using the challenge here. Curious to see what they're using it on, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious, just like you. There's some things being yelled in Serbian that I don't... I, I, I don't know if they can stand the light of day. <laughs> Not in this broadcast. Oh, and look at the maestro. He's imploring the Serbian fans to give him some energy. Look at how calm he looks, too. He's been in this position before. He knows what to do. He's getting some timely buckets. He's battle-tested, without a doubt. So possession to Serbia. Each team is in the penalty. Vasque will fake the handoff from the elbow. Rambo goes down to get it. Villarade. He'll set up shop. He'll get it moving around the perimeter. Villarade. Slick move. Step back. You don't know me like that. Huge shot by Villarade. Vasque all alone. 220 and counting is. Serbian fans might be getting a little bit antsy at the moment. Vierade trying to put it away. Not that time, but offensive rebounding has been big for France in this game. Segala to Vierade. He turns around. He's got the green light, but does not knock down the shot. Who's that foul on? It's two free throws. No matter who it's on, on it I looks like it might be on Villare. Really? I thought maybe Vasque. No, Villare is going to the bench, so it's going to be two free throws yeah. for Vasque. And Villare with the step back, snatched him, and then splapped him. Ninth foul in French, too. Close to the double bonus with uh, 155 left on the clock here. And like I said earlier, they're leaving the door open. They're playing so well. But they uh, keep putting Serbia on the free throw line for two easy shots, even though Vasque misses the first one here. Vasque's filling it. And he's, he's going to get the second one to go. Only a, a two-point game. Gala said no that time. Possession back over to the Serbs. Oh, and they waste it. Yeah, good stop by Mostorovic, but Brankovic is passing the ball to bounds there. It's just uh, looking a little rattle right now. Well, yeah, because the Beast is one of the best passers in the, in, in the game. And again, a little rattle. That's how you pass it. Never mind. 
Dr. Strange levitated. Did they call that a score? Wait a minute. That might be a goal I, I I'm not sure I disagree. It's got to get a closer look on the replay. So we can get a, a bird's eye view of what the official Edmund is seeing. He's got several different angles there. And this could end up being huge for this game. Be it out of Looked like he had a layup. Oh, yeah, it touched the backboard. Yeah, that's going to be a bucket. Yep, that's going to be a bucket. Yep, that's the right call. Yep, that's the right. We, just, we got the, that, we got the best replays. Pass. We got the best replays around. So that means I think France France is going to go up 16 to 13, right? Yes. So a three point lead with 131 left to go. They cannot foul, though. Oh, he's waving it off. He's waving off the basket. Yes, I, I, I wish I had an explanation. It might have hit his hand before it hit the backboard, but I'm not sure. Did it? It, look, it, it looked like it on camera, but who you knows? The two from the Maestro missed. He'll recover and score. And uh oh, don't look now. Here come the Serbians. Yeah, momentum on the side of Serbia right now after this maestro bucket. It feels like the French team is feeling the pressure, pressure a little bit here. Been at 18, and France's lead has been trimmed down to one. Alex Vierade. He's being told to shoot it. Shot clock violation. They ran out of time. Couldn't hear it because of the crowd, too. That plays a plays a factor in this. But the get out A. Got to be a little bit more aware in this scenario. Now the Maestro ties it up. The Serbian fans are roaring. Vierade, would it be a big two? Maestro tracks it down. Stojicic, he will let it fly straight on top of the key. Dr. Strange doing his thing. Segela, he will answer with a score on the inside. 40 seconds to go. The world number one with the rock. Strahinia reroutes, trying to get rid of Rambo. Strahinia on the drive. He chauffeurs Rambo for a score. And Serbia lead it by two, 20 seconds to go. Strahinia, baseline, elevation. Dr. Strange has gone to a completely different multiverse. He has taken over this game for the Serbians. And they storm from behind to take this win from France. They would not be denied. Serbia we would not be denied. What a crazy ending to this game. France was in control, had a three-point lead with 131 left to go. And Serbia outscored them 6-0 down the stretch here and have a chance to put the game away from the free throw line. Wow. Mostly because Dr. Stranger, because remember, we had the goaltend call. It got waved off. And then he's signaling here to the sideline. He's like, it's done. It's done. You saw that? And it was, it is done. I didn't see that, but great insight. So this one's gonna look likely in on the 8 0 run. France led 16 to 13. That is it before the limit. Serbia reigns supreme. 2 0, day one, as they come from behind to snatch one out of France's grasp, a bitter defeat for the French who start off.